Hi, Matthew Lube here. Thanks for checking out this quick video. What I'd like to share with you real fast are three easy steps that you can implement right now that will make your website Pinterest compatible, also known as pin ready. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, first of all, Pinterest is growing at just an incredibly fast rate. In fact, it drives more website traffic than Google Plus, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Reddit combined. This is something that you, as a offline or online business owner, need to take into consideration and you must integrate Pinterest as part of your overall social marketing strategy this year and beyond. These three simple steps you're going to be able to implement very, very quickly and you're going to see the power that this particular website drives in terms of traffic and exposure to your brand and your business. So if we're not already connected though, what I'd like to invite you to do is go to Pinterest.com forward slash Matthew Loop and uh, once you're at this page, click the follow all button. You'll see a big red button on this page so you can follow all my pins and posts. And if you are interested in actually generating revenue from your social media efforts, you're really going to find my content very valuable for you. Plus, you'll see some of my personal recommendations as well. Without any further ado, let's get into it now. What you can do immediately is you can go to a website called Pinterest.com forward slash about forward slash goodies. Go ahead and bring this page up right now and you're going to see some very, very important features that you can implement. Actually, let's go right now. I'm going to take you to one of my blog posts. You can use these strategies for your regular website or your blog. Now, the first thing that you must do to get your blog or your website pin ready is you must start adding high quality images to your blog posts or to each and every single website page. If you already have a website that's been established for a long time, you should go through every single page on your website and add a high quality image, just like you see right here. Now, when you add this image, this allows your site to be compatible. So as um, individuals or targeted leads stumble across your content, um, they're going to be in the habit of now pinning um, any content that you post. So what they can do, especially on this blog post, the 10 steps to unstoppable income with online video, once they read this post, they get a lot of great value. They scroll all the way down to the bottom. I always issue a call to action. If they like this post, here's exactly what to do next. And you can see here, step number two, that I've implemented a pin it button, right? So we add a high quality image to the post. We also add this little pin it button. Once I click this, what it does is it populates all the images on this page, including this image from the post. And if I click pin this, it will take me directly to my Pinterest profile, or I'm sorry, it, it will, um, I'm already logged into Pinterest, and I can put this under whatever post that I want. So if this was Facebook marketing, chiropractic marketing, or you know anything else, I could label that accordingly. I could actually put a description or a link in here if I wanted and share it with Twitter. Very simple, very powerful. That's step number two. You must have the pin it button on your site. You can actually go to um, this Pinterest.com forward slash about forward slash goodies and you'll be able to see how you add these buttons. I'm not going to get into the web encoding. Hopefully you do have a website developer or programmer that takes care of your website that can implement this stuff immediately. Very, very simple. It doesn't take a lot of time, but you should be focusing on the marketing, not necessarily the programming and the coding, but you'll find that they give an instructional tutorial about how to add these icons to your website. Also, here's that pin it button that I spoke about before and um, anything else that you might want to do. Now, the third step is, of course, uh, you definitely want to have this Pinterest icon somewhere on your site, just like you would have a regular Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or even Google Plus icon. This just helps people to connect with you on Pinterest, the social network. This is going to make your life much, much easier. It will allow you to drive exponentially more traffic to your site, and you'll ultimately see new customers and sales because of it. One of the things that I forgot to mention, if you need a resource to get high quality stock images, you can easily go to iStock.com. This is one of my favorite websites, iStockPhoto.com, and their prices are very, very reasonable. And You might know another website you can go to for royalty-free images, but use these on your, um, your blogs or your website. And this is so you, of course, you don't, you don't have to pull anything from Google Images and uh, risk copyright infringement later on. So iStock Photo is a great choice if you need uh, special images for your pins. Now, hopefully you enjoyed this video tutorial. What I'd like to invite you to do next, as I mentioned before, 
is connect with me on Pinterest at pinterest.com forward slash Matthew Loop. And also, I'll invite you to a specific blog post if you're interested in taking the next step in your Pinterest marketing. This was uh, titled The Ultimate, Ultimate Pinterest Marketing Blueprint for Chiropractors, but this really applies toward any business in general. And what I do is I've laid out five video tutorials and a 17-page professional PDF manual that shows you A to Z everything that you need to do to be successful, to drive a ton of traffic from Pinterest, to actually get sales and people through your door. There's a big difference between social media that just makes you fans like 95% of what you see out there and social media that actually generates revenue for your business. This is my passion. This is my expertise. I'd love to be able to serve and help you. If you have any questions at any time, definitely feel free to connect with me on Pinterest. As I mentioned, check out this blog post and see if this course is right for you. And um, hopefully you found a lot this particular video tutorial valuable and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.